see in my people call me mad. I'm Shower bell. Like, yeah, so watch as I expand. Live and direct from out the Flatbush land. Cause I've got more times than the beach got. I've been dancing since I was very young. Um, so I have always had a desire to like move and be physical. <laughs> I really had a hard time sitting still <laughs> as a kid. Like when I'd play piano, I'd get up and start doing cartwheels and stuff. It was really hard for me to stay still. Um, but hip hop dance, um, I would say like from 14. So basically when I went to high school, uh, there was a dance team. That's a big thing in California where I'm from is having these dance teams that, you know, kind of dance during like halftime shows and sports, you know, for your school. So I tried out for the dance team and I got in and that's where I really started to develop um, my skill set in hip hop dance specifically. I was taking a lot of like dance studio classes and just trying to figure out my place in the city. And about a year in, um, I was introduced to um, a class. Uh, was, uh, it was called at the time um, Open Class. And basically it was you know, the Friday class um, that was open to the general public from the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory. And I went and I was like immediately, I was like, yes, this is what, exactly what I was looking for because it was actual training, um, you know, they were laying out, oh, this is locking, this is breaking. And, you know, then my mind started to, you know, piece together all the things that I had sort of seen or maybe learned a little bit about in California, but nobody had said, oh, this is popping, this is this, this is that. Nobody, they're just saying, okay, just do this move, do this that move. So I didn't know that it was all under this umbrella. Nice. Um, so in 2007, I entered into the, the full, you know, um, apprenticeship program, the undergraduate program. Um, and Safi Thomas, who's the founder and the artistic director, he was my main mentor and still is to this day. I mean, he essentially raised me to be, you know, a, a dancer, a performer, a choreographer, you know, an education director, a curator. Um, and yes, these are all the titles that I have had or do have right now. Um, and he really, you know, took the time to introduce me to a whole culture, um, an art form, and, and a way of life, really, you know, um, and, and helped me to be a pivotal person in creating a new infrastructure for hip hop dance, which is what the conservatory is all about. You're a person with a personality. So that has to shine through, just not on top of hip hop dance, via hip hop dance. Does that kind of make sense? The hip hop dance can't be like shoved to the side. You still gotta know how to do it, but you then gotta show who you are in it. Right? There were many years Six. that I didn't really even to want to accept that I was Chinese. And I kind of hid in hip hop, hoping that I wouldn't have to deal with figuring out what that meant about who I was. And I remember people would even say, you know, Yvonne, I don't even realize that you're Asian. And I remember taking that as a compliment. I was like, oh, wow, great. They don't even know. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, wait a second. Is that really a compliment? I'm like, is it really good that somebody doesn't see that I am Asian? I was like, I don't think that's actually good. <laughs> and like, I started to think about it. I was like, no, I should actually embrace the fact that I am Asian and I should be proud of it, you know? So it was like, it really took a lot for me to like go back home and be like, okay, like what is all of this about, you know? And why did I resist it for so long, you know? And what do I need to do to like understand it better? It's an apparent to a lot of us in, the, in our culture that, you know, you don't really pursue something in the arts because it's not financially viable. Then I'm just gonna do it on the side. So I'll have my job you know, my nine to five job, and then I'll just, you know, do dance on the side, you know? Um, and obviously that works for people. It's convenient for them because they can, you know, make the money they need and then do what they love to do. The only issue with that is then there is no representation beyond just, you know, those the very few that say, okay, I'm gonna take the risk and I'm gonna go for it and I'm going to make it my career. Yeah.